Hey everyone, my name is Sean Cecil from the Oculus Institute and today we're going to talk about the fear of rejection. So one of the biggest things that I've seen hold people back, especially when it comes to people who are going freelance or people who are becoming entrepreneurs and planning to sell their product in actual sales conversations um, as opposed to e-commerce stuff, is the fear of rejection. Right? It can also apply to somebody who's going, you know, and they're, they're considering getting a new job um, and, and they get held back because they don't want to hear the word no. And so, you know, it's funny because if you look at it from a rational standpoint, you know, if you put out 20 job applications and you only get one of them that makes you an offer and they're all better than where you are, you've won, right? You've improved your situation, right? But those, those 19 no's, they have an expected value of zero if you're thinking at, about it rationally. Right? It's the same thing if you're doing freelance. If you put out you know, 20 freelance proposals and you end up getting two jobs you know, that provide your income for the next month or two, right? it takes you know, 15 minutes to put out each proposal. Right? You spend one day sending out proposals and now you have you know, a month or two of freelance work. That's a good deal. But you know, again, there are going to be a lot of times where you're just not going to hear back or you're going to hear back no. And, and, and that's part of the game, right? If you're an entrepreneur, I guarantee you there are gonna be people who are gonna tell you no, right? Um, you know, some people try to hide from this by doing this e-commerce thing where they don't ever actually have to talk to anybody and they never know when people are saying no and they just look at their bank account and see money come in. But that's really, really, really hard to do. That's way, way, way harder than actually going out and interacting with people and selling stuff. So even though most people try to do it, again, to avoid that rejection, it normally ends up backfiring. So why is it that you see so many people who, you know, these things from a logical perspective make all the sense in the world, right? Like the cost of somebody not responding to your proposal is 15 minutes of time, so what? The cost of putting together a job application that doesn't work out, it's, you know, 20 minutes of time, so what? Right, the cost of getting on the phone and selling something for your business and somebody says no, it's, you know, 30 minutes or an hour, so what, right? But what happens is people attach this huge negative emotional valence to the rejection. So instead of seeing the rejection as costing them whatever time they put into it, which isn't that much, they make it this big emotional thing, right? And they hear no, and it's it's like, you know, like if you go and you, you know, are talking about going on a date with somebody, they're like, oh no, I don't want to go on a date with you. And then, you know, people spiral into like this huge thing about, oh, how I'm not worthy and this and that and all these other things. And this person doesn't like me and so on and so forth. And they get this big emotional reaction to it, right? that's going to cause a lot more hesitation because then what happens is if that's the way you react to things, then you're not even going to put together those applications in the first place because you're going to say, well, more likely than not, I'm going to hear no. And your brain is equating the emotional cost of hearing a rejection with the benefit of getting the job. And even though the benefit of getting the job is vastly more than the cost of the rejection, your brain's seeing them the same because it's attaching this big negative emotional valence to it. And the root of that, fundamentally, is the idea that your own self-worth is based in what other people say or do, right? It's the idea that if somebody doesn't want to work with you or doesn't want to hire you, that therefore you're less as a person, right? If you have an unconditional you know, self-love, an unconditional sense of what you're worth, then rejection doesn't mean anything. I mean, like I've I've literally been on over a thousand phone conversations with potential clients, the majority of whom turned me down, right? Um, well, actually the majority of whom I didn't make an offer to, but then the majority of those who I did make an offer to turned me down. They said no, right? You know, they said it's too much or I don't want to, or it doesn't seem like a good fit or whatever. And that's fine, right? Because I still have a group of clients that, you know, have been able to support me and my lifestyle and growing this company and growing this message and reaching more people. And I've been able to change their lives and I've been able to, to get the fulfillment of all that kind of stuff. And it's worth it when you focus on that. But if you let, you know, this whole thing of somebody saying no, for whatever reason, that may have nothing to do with you connect to your own sense of self-worth and you get this fear of rejection, then you're going to get paralyzed. And then you're not going to send out any job applications. You're not going to send out any freelance proposals. You're not going to want to get on the phone with potential clients and your ability to change your career situation is going to go to zip. So guys, be careful, be wary of that fear of rejection and realize that ultimately the antidote to it is having a sense of your own self-worth is having a sense that no matter what anybody else says or does, that you have a sense of your value and, and that you're not going to let your self love be contingent upon the actions of anything else. It should be unconditional. Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you wanna learn more about career planning, 
getting out of a burnout job, or creating a career that truly fulfills you, then I've got a free comprehensive video laying out the process. All you need to do is go to the link below, www.oculusinstitute.com slash workshop and sign up to get access to the free presentation. See you on the other side.